Good morning, Hartsville Pike family and friends. Have you ever been in a situation when the enemy was attacking and, and you found yourself wondering what to do? Of course, we, we all have. Th then you can relate to King Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Word comes to the king that the enemy is just outside of town and ready to attack outside of town at the city limits. There was no time to formulate a, a great battle plan or to have a bunch of meetings or try to figure out how to respond, but he had to respond and he had to respond quick. So what did the king do? Second Chronicles 20 verse three said, Jehoshaphat feared. That's not surprising, is it? We've all been there and you may be there right now in a state of fear. There are times we can't help but be afraid but remember, it's our response to that fear that makes the difference. And notice the king's response. In Second Chronicles 20 and verse 3, he feared. And how did he respond? He set himself to seek the Lord. How often when I'm afraid do I just sit around, wring my hands, worry, and do everything to, everything to try to solve my problems all by myself? Our first response should be to go to the one who said, fear not. And then the king offers a beautiful prayer. Let me encourage you to study that prayer of Jehoshaphat's in 2 Chronicles 20. He doesn't start off by just saying, God, we're in trouble, help. He takes the time to praise God and to be reminded of what God had done for them in the past. But here's the part of the prayer I want you to remember today. This is one of my favorite passages of scripture. In 2 Chronicles 20, verse 12, he says, O oh, our God, Will you not judge them? And then notice these three points. For we have no power against this great multitude that's coming against us. Number two, nor do we know what to do. But notice first, notice the third point. But our eyes are up on you. When the enemy's attacking, we must admit we don't have the power to solve all of our problems. And even if we had the power, we don't always know what to do with it. And so we're limited in our power limited in our knowledge. So what do we do? We look to the all-powerful, all-knowing God who loves you and he, who will bring you through whatever you're facing today. And don't ever forget the all-powerful, all-knowing God does love you. And because he does, let's make it a wonderful day.